Welcome back to the second installment of my big 2016 makeup and beauty drawers declutter. If you missed my first video, I was purging my foundations, concealers, primers, bronzers, face powders, brow products, some other stuff like that. I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out. And today I am tackling my eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes, blush, lipsticks, lip glosses, gel eyeliners, and maybe a few other products in that mix. And my third video coming next will be a nail polish declutter, so stay tuned for that. So let's get into it. So this is the blush and eyeshadow drawer, excluding my big eyeshadow palettes. I don't even know where to begin here. Everything is so crammed in. It gives me anxiety just to look at. Let's start with blush. I have this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush. I did a first impressions of this, I think last spring or summer, and really didn't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and part with that. These blushes from Rimmel I have had for so long, probably four plus years now. It has been way too long. They're old and I don't really use them. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. I think the same goes for my CoverGirl Cheekers blushes. I have had both of these for a really long time. This Butter London Ruby Murray blush is so pretty, especially in the winter, but it's a cream and I've had it for a while. And I think on the back, yeah, it says 12 months and I've had it longer than that. So unfortunately I'm going to get rid of that. I have a couple of Jouer blushes down here. I have a couple of their smaller cream blushes. These are great, but again, they're old with cream blushes. They just don't last very long. I have Jouer's Blush in Bloom, which is a really nice color. I think I might have something similar to it though. I think I'm going to have to keep a pretty solid maybes pile for this round. I also have Peach Bouquet, which is so pretty. Definitely want to hold on to that. I have my Hot Mama Blush from The Balm. This is such a pretty color, but I do have other things similar to it, like this Benefit Coralista Blush. Like they're in kind of the same family of that like peachy golden colors. So, and I love Coralista. I think I'm going to hold on to Coralista and let go of this one. I have a couple of the Milani baked blushes and I'm going to hold on to both of these because they're so beautiful. I have a whole bunch of NARS blushes and I think I'll end up keeping all of these. I have Gina, which I love. I have Deep Throat, which I've worn a lot. I have Douceur, which is a nice kind of understated uh, muted pink color. I have Sin, Actually, I might part with Sin. This is just a little bit too plummy for my taste and I haven't worn it in a really long time. Yep, I think Sin is going to go somewhere else. And then I have Final Cut, which is a really pretty color. I'll keep that as well. I also have an e.l.f. blush. I have had this for so long and this is very similar to Sin in that it's a little bit plummy and I just don't wear plummy blushes that much anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. I have three blushes from Hourglass and I love the Hourglass blushes, but one of these shades, I think it's this one, is just a little bit too light for me. Like it's a little bit too nude once it's swirled together. At first I thought it would work really well for me and then after trying to wear it a little bit more, I don't love it as much. I hate to part with this though because I love Hourglass and these products are definitely splurgy, but I think this, this is going to be one of those hard decisions. I'm going to part with this. And now I'm thinking back because I have that NARS Douceur shade and that's quite similar to the first Jouer blush I was talking about. I think I'll keep the NARS one and part with the Jouer one. I have some more Benefit boxed powders here. I have Sugar Balm, which is a pretty light kind of shimmery shade. But again, it's just a little bit too light. I don't wear this that much. I think I'm going to let go of this one. I have Bella Bomba, which is a shade I used to really wear a lot. It's beautiful. It's just a little bit kind of bright and shimmery for me now. I have the oh so lovely Rocketeer. I love this. It's just a beautiful kind of nude flush. Definitely holding on to that. And then I also have Urvana, which I think I'm going to part with. It's just a matte kind of pinky color. And I have other things like it and I don't use this one very much. I have another Milani baked blush that I will be holding on to. I have a couple of limited edition blushes from MAC, which I really love. They are very similar though, but this one, this is Seduced at Sea. I have worn this one so much. The other one is See Me, Hear Me, which I haven't worn quite as much, but I just love these shades. So these will be maybes for now. Well, this one's definitely a keep. That will be a maybe and I'll think about it. I also have another limited edition blush from MAC that I really love. These shades are all so similar though. I really don't need all of them. So maybe I'll keep these two and I'll part with this one. Like they're a little bit different, but they're still kind of that like brick 
reddish pink color. I'm going to move on, I'll keep thinking about it. I have my Tarte blushes here, the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes are really, really wonderful. I just don't wear all of these. And let me look at these shades. The shade Fearless is kind of a sparkly pink and I don't wear sparkly blushes that much anymore with the exception of a couple of these Milani ones. I don't keep a lot of like actual sparkly glitter blushes. So I'm going to pass this one on. I have a blush bronzer duo from M Cosmetics that I used a ton last year. I really liked this and I think I'll hold on to it. I have Benefits Benetint, which to be honest, I don't ever use just because I prefer for my cheeks, either a powder or cream formula and for my lips like a gloss or a lipstick and I just don't use this so I'm going to get rid of it. I have a L'Oreal True Match blush that I really like. I'm going to keep this. I have another Jouer cream blush that's old. I'm going to get rid of this. And over here I have all of my NARS matte multiples. These are really nice but they are a couple years old. So I just went and tested these and they are quite dry which is such a bummer because they were splurgy and the colors are so beautiful but I guess that's what you get with cream products after a couple years. I have the Dior Rosy Glow Healthy Awakening Blush, I think is what it's called. This is amazing, totally keeping this. And then back here, I even have some blush palettes that I'll dig out. I have a couple of Z palettes with mostly MAC blushes in them. I do have a Kevin O'Quan blush right here, but I have had this forever and I just have never used it enough and somebody else should have this. I'm going to part with that. I have Max Spring Sheen right here that I really love. I think this is Fleur Power, right? That's a nice one. I have Modern Mandarin right here, which was limited edition. It's very orangey and I love this, but NARS Gina is actually very similar to this and I don't need a whole bunch of orangey blushes. So I think I'm going to also part with that. In this palette, I have MAC Gingerly, definitely not parting with that. This is Well Dressed, which is a blush that I used to wear all the time and I think now it's just like maybe the powder's gotten a little bit old because I've had this forever um, but it's just not very pigmented it doesn't show up on my skin the same way that it used to I guess so I think I'm going to part with that right here I have peony petal that's such a pretty kind of blue toned pink that is so similar to the Dior rosy glow blush though so I'm going to be ruthless here. I'm getting rid of it. I can consolidate this now into just one palette. Moving on back here to eyeshadows. I love my eyeshadows, but my problem is I have too much of the same thing. And I'm also holding on to a lot of products that I just really wouldn't use or wear anymore. Like this MAC pigment that is the most beautiful iridescent pink. I can't remember the last time I wore this kind of color on my eyes, so I should part with that. This is a little Clinique palette that I got with a gift with purchase, and I have shades like it and other things, so I've hardly touched this, so I should give this away to somebody. I have my Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadows, which I love. These are the most amazing metallic eyeshadows, but I've had both of these for a couple of years now, and I think that they've just kind of gone bad like this one. I think the applicator in this one has actually broken off into it, and and they're kind of like hardened, so I'm going to part with both of these. This eyeshadow back here is from Stila. This is Cloud, I believe. It's such a pretty color, but I've had it for a very long time. I think four or five years now, and I don't wear it as much anymore. So I'm going to toss this. I have a couple of eyeshadows from Chanel, and to be honest, these have not gotten the use that they should have. They're so pretty. They're both kind of taupey colors that I just don't think to use them as much because they aren't in palettes. I think to use my stuff that's in palettes, but these are so nice. These are going to be maybes. I'm going to think about these. Oh, I have another one of the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Eyeshadows. Gosh, I love these. I will probably just go out and repurchase these, but they are definitely old. This eyeshadow palette from M Cosmetics, I have gotten so much use out of. I love this shade and I love this combination of colors. So I'm going to hold on to this. That's gotten a lot of use. This one, however, I have not gotten as much use out of. I think because it's warmer toned and I don't wear warmer toned eyeshadows as much, I tend to gravitate more toward the pinky nudes and the taupes and shades like that. So I think this is going to go to somebody else. This is an eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild. They do make good eyeshadows, but I don't really use any of these shades. And these colors I have in other forms as well, like in my MAC palettes or my Urban Decay palettes. So this just doesn't really get used. So this one's going to go somewhere. I have some Benefit Cosmetics eyeshadows and I really like these eyeshadows in the formula. But once again, they're so similar to things that I have elsewhere that they don't get as much love as they should. And this is just kind of breaking my heart right now because 
I know I don't use these enough and I should part with them, but I really like them. Okay, these are going to be maybes as well because I really like these and I kind of hate to give them up. And then the rest of what's back here is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour eyeshadows. And these are amazing. If you have not tried these, you definitely need to because they're so pigmented, they wear so well. I have a couple of Physicians Formula palettes. I have their nude palette right here which is nice. I mean, Physicians Formula makes really nice eyeshadows, but once again, I'm looking at like all of the colors that I'm seeing elsewhere. I do, however, really like this palette. I think the purples are really pretty if you want to put something on the lower lash line. For now, I think I will keep this one because this is a nice travel palette. I think I'm going to have to do a second sweep through here and see what all I'm still keeping that's duplicate. Okay, I'm going to be ruthless here. I think I'm going to part with both of these actually because I have these shades all through here and I haven't even gotten to my eyeshadow palette drawer yet. This one is actually quite old. I would repurchase this but I can see that the powder is actually kind of getting cakey and dry. So going to toss this, going to pass this on to someone else. Then looking back at my Benefit eyeshadows again, I think I will part with this one. It's a little bit peachier than what I typically wear and I do have a couple other shades like this anyway. This is a beautiful color, but it's very similar to Max All That Glitters, which I have. So I'm going to find a new home for this. I have a lot of dark brown eyeshadows and I don't even wear dark brown that much anymore. So I'm going to part with this. This is very similar to Max Woodwinked, which I have. So I'm going to part with this. Then revisiting the Chanel eyeshadow, Shadows. This color taupe gris I know I have dupes of and this could just be used by somebody else who would give it more love than me So I am going to part with that one. The other one however, which is fav It's a little bit more sparkly and unique and I think that I will hold on to that and quickly taking a look at my eyeshadow palettes There isn't going to be much that I want to declutter in here. I'm keeping my Mac palettes my Marc Jacobs palette I like my Too Faced palettes Urban Decay. There is one palette though that is gigantic that I just don't get enough use out of. This is the M Beach Life palette, which is really nice. These eyeshadows are so well formulated, but this thing is so giant that I never travel with it. And even just to keep it in my bathroom on the counter, it takes up a lot of space. And it comes with this little travel, like, travel palette and you can pop all these eyeshadows out and put it in here and travel with whatever you want but I just don't use it enough and so this is something that somebody else could get a lot of use out of. Another thing I feel like I need to declutter though is my Z palettes because I've done so much decluttering that I have empty Z palettes now and I have even magnets like that I haven't been used down in the bottom but I don't really depot anything anymore so I feel like I should give these away. Then in here I have my lipsticks, lip glosses, and some mascaras, gel liners, false lashes in the back and a lot of this stuff is old, so I'm just going to initially just pull out things that are just too old. My Chanel Jealousy Gloss, this is one of my favorite lip glosses ever, but I think this is way, way, way past its good date, and I just need to accept that. What else in lip glosses? All of these NYX Butter Glosses are old as well. These need to be tossed. Getting rid of those. I don't really wear this Pixie Balm. I'm going to get rid of that. This color, I don't think I wear very much either. It's pretty, but it just doesn't get enough use out of me. I have my Burt's Bees Lip Shines. I really like this color. This one doesn't get a lot of use. Color from Maybelline Born With It is a nice everyday color, but I just have so many other things like it that it doesn't get worn. And this Fifth Avenue Fuchsia is really pretty, but again, it's just one of those that I have other colors of. Comparing the shades of lip gloss that I have, I really don't wear a lot of plummy, mauve colors anymore, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. As well as this one, even though I love Hourglass lip products, I just don't wear that shade very much. And if I'm keeping this, I don't really need all three of those. Oh, and also I have a Stila gloss in that kind of shade that I got in an event bag that I've never used. And so I should just give this to somebody. I love both of these Revlon lip butters, but I've had them, I think, for three years now, which is kind of getting gross on lip products. Moving over into here, I have two eyelash curlers, which I don't need. I love my Chanel ones, so I'm going to get rid of this. Looking at all of my MAC lipsticks, there are definitely some that I do not wear very much, like Ravishing. I've had this for a really long time and it's just a little bit too orangey and brown for me. So I'm going to get rid of that. Also Flamingo. This is a pretty pink, but it's a little too yellow toned. It almost just clashes with the pink in my skin. So I'm going to pass that on. This is another one that I wore for a while and now I kind of feel like it's a little bit too yellow toned and it clashes with my complexion. So going to get rid of that as well. These NARS lipsticks are really nice, but this one's just a little bit too mauve -y. I don't wear a lot of colors like that anymore. I feel like I have a lot of very neutrally glosses. This one's definitely old. I should part with that one. And then this one is a little bit shimmery, which I don't wear too much, so I'll keep these three. I feel like I have something similar to both of these, so I will 
remove those. Down in here, I have a gel liner. This is Dark Diversion from MAC. I love this. I've had it for probably four years and it's so dried up. I just haven't been able to toss it, but I'm going to do that now. I have some false lashes back here, but these never go bad, so I'll be keeping those. I have some mascaras. This Tarte one right here I know is old, so I'll toss that. Some more lashes, some more gel liners, and I wonder which of these are still good. This Maybelline one is dried up, so I'll toss that. Okay, there's a final look. I went through, I pulled out some more things, I reorganized, and it's still pretty full, but it's not as crammed. I like that I can put all my lipsticks in this organizer and my lip glosses are all like visible over here. I think that's a lot better. So here's a look at everything I just took out of my collection. I had to spread it out on this big table with my little wintry market bouquet. I counted this up, you guys, and it's 88 products, which is crazy and such a good feeling to just be getting rid of so much stuff that I'm not using enough and opening up some more breathing room in those drawers. And some of these will go to new homes. Some of these will be tossed because they're old and not really good to give to anyone else. But yay, another round done. Okay, so there's another section of my makeup decluttering done. And like I said, my last video was tackling a different section of my collection. If you want to see that, you can click right here and stay tuned for my next video, which will be tackling my nail polish drawer. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.